Hello and welcome to another ep or not episode, another scratch tutorial. Although it's the second in a series. If you haven't already seen this vid the video before this, it's the one called Simple um, Target Game Part One. Um, okay, so um, this is part two. So first, first of all, it's really easy to get points. All you do is just shoot randomly. So let's go. Let's duplicate this guy. So, these are kind of like enemies, right? So, let's make green. So, get the bucket. Get the color. And make it a green target. Now, make these show up maybe a little less often. Like, maybe like every 1.5 seconds instead of 0.5 is what I have. And if you hit one, it will change this. Sorry, it will change the score by negative one. So now you can get negative points in this game. So let's say I have one point now. Now I have zero again. But there's a lot more of these. So if I shoot around now, it's a much more interesting game and it requires a lot more, um, a lot more skill. Now let's paint a new one. This is just merely for cosmetic purposes. But let's make it, um, let's just make it black. Um, oops. Undo that. And then the outline I want to be all the way black. So now, if we click shift, we can make what it defines as a perfect circle. Oops. Let's make it a little smaller, too. Okay, sorry about that. I'm really bad at drawing. Let's make this size 1. I forgot about that. Please never mention this ever again to anybody, okay? I forgot I wasn't in bitmap. So, um, after that slightly embarrassing ordeal, we're going to draw a crosshair. <coughs> so, for fill, we also want it to be black. And size, we also want it to be one. Maybe just make, like, little notches or something. And then this will simply just always go to the mouse. There's no way to make the mouse disappear, which is kind of annoying. Um, but Scratch is a very basic engine. So um, just follow that. So it will always go to the mouse. So now you have a little target thingy when you aim it. So... Not going to help you aim, but it's going to be fun. And also the game will get progressively harder not to hit green ones, because you'll keep hitting them. Um, so, um, now, um, sorry, save. <laughs> Remember to always save it. Um, so now, um, let's change the fire rate. So... Let's get a bunch of if else statements. So now we'll have four different fire rates. Get the greater than function. Score. So if score is greater than, let's say 100, and it will do that. Duplicate. Send this. Greater than 100, it will have a really fast fire rate. If score is greater than, um, let's say 50, because it is a pretty progressively hard game. Well, I should duplicate that one more time. And then once we've duplicated it one more time, we can just make it a little cooler. So now 150. 
200 and 500. Okay, so now, so in default mode, we'll have it weight, let's just say, weight 0 0.3 seconds. Let's duplicate that. So now in default mode, oh, oops. Okay, so I, f I forgot to put this in there. So now let's make this 0 0.25. So right now we're just, the higher your score, the higher your fire rate. And your fire rate won't be very high for a while. You can make these numbers whatever you want. You can also make it like semi-automatic, like an actual um, thing. I'm not going to say the word that starts with a G um, because YouTube will take my video down or at least restrict it. So, um, wait. And then let's just leave that blank. So now... This is your fire rate right now, but it will increase a lot over time, as you can see. So that's a little interesting. Um, something you can do is try and make shotguns or something. Um, next, that is an extremely boring game. Sorry. Like, just saying, like... It's not really doing well. You're not getting enough points to make it fun. So, get Lay Bucket out. I'm sounding like an idiot now, aren't I? Brighten this all the way up. Find a good gold one. And then let's make a... Oh, hang on. No, I want... Those to be that color, and these to be the lighter color. And then, let's say every five seconds it will show up, and if you hit it, it will change the score by ten. And that will be a huge advantage. So, now we have a pretty good base for a game. Um, this is all I'm going to be covering in this tutorial. Um, but now you have a really good base for a game, and you can create a much more interesting game. Like, you can add, like, maybe different types of um, shooting, or maybe you have obstacles that the things bounce off of. For a bouncing script, see my Pong tutorial. Um, some other ideas is have, having, like, barriers and having your character able to move around and maybe having, like enemies that can like actually physically attack you but that's that's all for this tutorial and um i will see you in the next one